Hello Rovers, we're here at Rovers Rest and the hens are outside. This is probably the first time in their lives they've been outside. They're ranging around in their yard and they're eating grass. It took them a while to figure out what it was. It took them a while to figure out how to grab it. Anyway, they don't have a door to the hen house and that's what I'm working on today. And the door, well, I'm working on the striker and that's the portion the jet where the the door enters the jam and a lot of people probably don't recognize this but that's never perfectly square in fact that's usually beveled at five degrees and that keeps the door from binding on account of the swing from the pin of the hinge anyway i'm going to cut that on the table saw i have the table saw here set up to five degrees i'm going to put my hearing protection on I have my 2x4 that I'll be making the style from and we're going to cut it at that angle. There we go, if you can see this, it's about five degrees. Great. Okay, so this is the Dutch door. We're under construction. I'll just push it up as though it were installed. So there's a lower portion right here that the hens can run out of, and the upper portion, which is more for Mrs. Rover and I to go inside and get eggs. The reason for the big opening That'll be covered in hardware cloth so that predators can't get in and it'll add ventilation during the summer but in winter it'll get covered in poly so it'll be a window and that'll allow light into the hen house for winter. Anyway, I've had to build it out of odds and ends because I didn't have enough plywood so it's going to be plenty strong. It's just that the price of plywood is so expensive right now that I've had to uh, piece it together like this. This literally is the last few little bits of plywood that I have. So that'll be secured down just to fill this out to the same height, and then we'll put a piece of one by four around to hold the cloth in place. Anyway, time to crack on with that. Okay, so set up the hinge so that the pin is halfway on the surface there. And then with your awl, mark the three screw holes, the centers. And then grab a drill with an appropriate bit. Clean the surface off a bit. And put the hinge on. Now don't tighten the screws all the way down, just get them in. Don't forget to wear your hearing protection. Okay, and then I like to tighten them up with a hand screwdriver. That way you get a good feel for when they're fully seated. There we go. Hinge on. And the barrel bolt on. This will be the closure for the door. Okay, there are four indentations. Grabbing our drill again. Okay, 
And then, just because they're little screws, just need to use the screwdriver. Well, there we go. The Dutch door has now been installed. Let's check it for clearance. All right, hands, check it out. Well, it's another day and another project. Well, Rovers, it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit breezy, but it's one of those days where I'm going to get caught up on some of the details that I wasn't able to do when we were getting the hen house ready. Now the hens are perfectly safe, they're perfectly uh, free from predation, free from the weather, but the house itself, well it needs some flashing and what I'm going to work on first is the eave flashing. This is what prevents the weather and snow from getting under the roof and uh, causing damage to the building. Okay, so I'll just use the tin snips to cut this. It's a good idea to wear gloves while you do this. The, the metal is pretty sharp. Especially on the windy days that we have here. Uh, the metal can get out of hand and uh, cut you. Okay, so there we have our cut. So when it's installed, this will be plumb, and we'll get a few fasteners into it. It'll look sharp. Okay, let's get that installed. It's hard to see, but there's a pretty strong wind blowing from the south. Well, the, the e-flashing is all on right now, and now I'm flashing the corners. So the corners get this flashing, will go up like here, and it does the same job as the e-flashing. It prevents the weather from getting into this joint. It seals it nicely, and well, it just make the building last all that much more longer. Anyway, I better crack on with this. Hearing protection, as always. Well, Rovers, I'm going to end it right here because it's pretty windy right now. I just have the ridge to do, and that's going to be a two-person job. I'll wait for a slightly better day. It's not like I don't have anything else to do. In fact, I have to hop on Rover mower and get the pasture cut because it's been growing like there's no tomorrow. And we've got to get it cut before the rain comes. All right, I better crack on.
Well, shortly after cutting the grass, the wind dies down and conditions are perfect to finish off the ridge. Well, this is it. This is the last piece of the puzzle, the ridge. It's going on the top of the roof, of course. Uh, we have a day where there's virtually no wind. That's what we needed. And Mrs. Rover is here to give me a hand. Well, time to crack on. Well that's it, the hen house is now complete and in the next episode I'll show you how I make some pretty unique roosting bars and nesting boxes and a ramp for the hens to climb up and get into this beautiful little house of theirs. As always, thanks for watching.